art friends. Today I have a wonderful artist for you. His name is Rafael Lopez and he was born in Mexico, raised in Mexico City, and so he was very influenced by artist Diego Rivera. You probably have heard of him before and if not, you can check him out on um, Google because he's a great artist too, but from long ago. As you know, we are doing artists of today, contemporary artists, and so we have Rafael Lopez today. His um, career is mainly making murals, which are ginormous pictures and paintings that are done on walls or buildings. So this is kind of like a mini mural, all right? We're gonna make a mini sized one today like Rafael Lopez, but first, I hope, hope, hope that you took a moment to watch the book that inspired this um, piece of art today. It is based on the true story of um, people in California who really felt sad about the kind of gray and um, dreary buildings and some of the rundown buildings near them. And they came together as a community and painted a giant colorful mural. So the book, Maybe Something Beautiful, is based on that um, true story that Rafael Lopez was um, a part of. So he is the illustrator of that book by, hang on, I have it for you, F. Isabel Campoy and Teresa Howell. So check that book out first and then come back and um, we can paint and draw together, okay? All right. For your supplies today, you are going to need some white paper and kind of big if you have it because we're making a mini mural, so we want it to look big, but whatever size you have is great. Colorful paper scraps you're going to need. Um, remember I told you yesterday that we are going to need those scraps for um, our little mini me that we're making today. Here's the mini Mrs. I course right there painting this beautiful mural. All right, so paper scraps, a big piece of paper. If you don't have paint, you can use marker. Um, watercolor paints would be great too. That's what I use. Scissors and glue for cutting out mini me. And a permanent marker is um, especially best for tracing over your mural once we draw it. All right, so I'm gonna press pause and so are you. Grab your supplies and come on back. All right, welcome back. Oh my gosh, this is such a fun project. So I'm gonna mute, um, move my completed mural down here onto my new beautiful little drawer here that um, Mr. Eichhorst got me a new easel. Remember I told you he, was, he had something that he could get me? Well, he did. So he got me this beautiful easel. Maybe I'll show it to you sometime. He has a nice little drawer. I'm gonna move this. But before I do, I just want to show you um, what this is supposed to kind of be, all right? So we have our, our mural. I drew just these fun, happy shapes out of my own imagination. Um, this little bird is kind of in the book. So like I said, I looked at the book and then um, I started drawing. I have um, all these organic fun shapes. They're big and they're not detailed. We're not doing a detailed drawing like the shark we did the other day. This one is a lot more simple and just fun, and murals usually are. They're not very, very detailed because that would be a lot harder to um, paint on a wall. Sometimes they have details, but not so much. All right, so I'm gonna move this down, but this is kind of our goal. We're gonna show the mural we're gonna show us adding the color. So turning it into something beautiful when before it might have been kind of plain, all right? So I'm gonna move this away and I'm gonna put up here, I already started kind of sketching um, before you all came today to just get ready, all right? And you're gonna sketch your own. It does not have to match mine. This is not a direct draw. I just want to give you ideas, all right? 
So I'm gonna get my waterproof marker, a Sharpie or a crayon would be great. Also, um, you can use a crayon, that would be great. So I'm gonna start with the sky up here. And because we've been talking rainbows over Michigan, I'm gonna kind of keep that same idea. I did a rainbow in this one. I'm gonna put the rainbow on this side this time. And remember, it's not supposed to be super perfect or anything, just some nice big shapes so that we can color them in later out of your own imagination. All right, I love, love, love butterflies. Some of you that remember Mrs. Knapp, she really got us thinking about and looking at butterflies. I can't wait till it's time for us to start raising some beautiful butterflies. So I'm gonna put a few little lines on here. I'm gonna make some flowers. Those are fun. But you don't have to, you can do whatever you like. All right, maybe some of you wanna do something with sports, I don't know. But remember, we're not going um, detailed, just some nice, big, organic shapes. They're not fancy, they're just kind of fun. I think murals are kind of about fun, don't you? We have a really big mural in downtown um, Mount Clemens, boys and girls. You know what that one is? Yeah, the one with that lady's face, right? Yeah, it's really beautiful. I think she looks a little bit sad, but it's so beautiful. So that's a mural. It's something very big on the side of a building, or maybe even in a building, but on a wall, okay? So just fun, organic shapes. Right, these are not perfect rectangles for the sun's rays. They're just here. All right, and I'm gonna actually, a lot of times when there's a rainbow, it's still raining, isn't it? And this isn't even a real flower. I don't know what this is. I just kind of make it up out of my head. And I hope you are too. I know you have so many great ideas, boys and girls. I've seen those before. And I hope, hope, hope you remember to post them to my Facebook page, Glitter and Glue with Mrs. Eichorst .com. Some of our, yeah, dot com is the website, and then the Facebook page is the same name, Glitter and Glue with Mrs. Eichorst Facebook page. All right, so it doesn't take too long to make this because we're not making details. We're just kind of making it fun. All right, so here's my mural. And I'm not going to put those lines in it yet until I make the mini me. All right, and one last tree. And then we'll make our mini me. All right, and if you didn't finish your mural yet, that's okay, because we don't always finish together. We kind of finish on our own. Oops, I want to add those little shapes to the tail. We finish on our own. I'm going to sign it in a tricky spot right there. And then um, you can post it, and I'll post it later too. All right, so that's the first step. Draw your mur mural. The second step is to make your mini-me, because we want to see you with your paintbrush painting the mural, all right? So that's why you need the little scrap papers. And I have a few here today that I'm gonna use. These are gonna be my blue jeans, so I'm gonna put those here so I can show you what it looks like. I'm gonna get a piece of paper for my shirt. Let's see, oh, here it is, my shirt. It's gonna be polka dots. How fun is that, right? <clears throat> I'm going to make my shirt a little bit longer than my pants, my jeans, right? And then I have some skin color tan. You can also use white paper and just color it with crayon. I did that actually on the first Mrs. I course mini Mrs. I course right here. So you can decide. But I'll save that for a minute. Usually I would not use a Sharpie because it will bleed through, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. 
all right? So I'm just gonna make very simple, just like this, very simple blue jeans. So if this is my shirt up here, my jeans or my pants are just gonna be like this, almost like I'm making the letter A, right? Or a teepee, kinda looks like that, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Upside down triangle or a V there. So there are my pants and my shirt. I'm gonna make a little bit wider, so I'm gonna make another diagonal line on both sides. And you can, if you want, make it straight. You can make it curvy if you want, because you're going to be cutting this out. My um, right hand, in this one, it's my left. My right hand is going to be reaching up, but since my paper is backward, I need to make the reaching up arm right here. So I'm going to show my reaching up arm, my neckline, and then my reaching down arm so that when I flip it over, it's the right way. All right, so I have a shirt and I have pants. And hmm, what color hair should I have today, boys and girls? Maybe, how about brown? I'm gonna have brown hair today. Brown polka dot, how about, how fun is that? So we're not gonna see my face, we're just gonna see my hair, so I'm gonna make it kind of curly today. All right, there's my hair, a little straight on that side, but curly. All right, so I have hair, I have a shirt, I have pants, and I'm gonna do the arms in a little bit. So let's cut those out real quick and get them on my paper, all right? So I wonder what you all have been doing. Have you been doing lots of um, Google Classroom? I know those have started up now. I wish I could do that, but I don't think I can do that with 500 students, do you? That would be a lot in my classroom. Maybe I'd have to make a few different ones. That would be nice though, I miss you guys. All right, so there's my shirt and here come the pants. And on mine, I didn't even add any um, shoes. At least right now, I hardly ever wear shoes unless I'm gonna take the dog for a walk or go grocery shopping. All right, so I'm gonna post this back up because we made our mini me's. I hope you did too. And of course, if I'm going too fast, just pause the video. All right, don't worry about it. All right, so here are my pants. I'm gonna glue those down first. And I decided I'm gonna stand over here. You can decide where you wanna stand, but I'm gonna stand over here. So I'm gonna glue my pants down right there. You know how Mrs. Icors likes to glue the big paper and not the little paper. Gets all over me. All right, and I'm gonna glue my shirt right on top. It's a pretty cute shirt, a little nice outfit there. All right, so now I have my shirt and my pants and I gotta cut out my hair. I didn't do that yet. And I'm gonna kind of tilt my head because I am working. It looks like Christmas tree hair here. I don't know what I was doing, but that's okay. All right, it's just for fun. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see what you do. I saw some really cute blue dogs. Um, that got posted to the Facebook page yesterday. So you don't have to do these videos on the day that they come out. Of course, you can do them whenever you want. So there's my brown hair, my polka dots today, my shirt, and my pants. So now I'm just gonna quickly, and this time I'm gonna use a pencil because I really don't wanna draw too dark on here. I'm gonna make my, um, my arm by putting the paper just under my sleeve there, I didn't glue it down all the way, and I'm gonna just put my arm and a little elbow going up. And then if I'm drawing, you don't really see my fingers, so I'm just gonna kind of make a bunch of bumps, all right? So that's this arm. This arm down here is just gonna be kind of 
straight, right? And I'm gonna also do that with some bumps. Okay, and I'm gonna snip them out real quick and get them on the paper. The next part is super fun, boys and girls. So if you don't have time to get all this cutting done while you're watching, remember you can always rewind it or pause it and go back to it. All right, so I have my little arm with the elbow here. All right, and it's going on and it's gonna go right on top of my bird, that's okay. I'm gonna glue my shirt down a little better too. All right, and one more arm. And then of course we need a paintbrush. All right, and you could draw your paintbrush or you could also cut it out. Hmm, what should I do? I wonder. Maybe I'll use crayon for that. Hmm? And if you don't have any paints or you don't have any um, fancy paper, you know you can just use crayon and make your little person, all right? Crayon would work great because if you do have watercolor, the crayon will resist that. So I think I'm going to use crayon. Don't mind me for bending over here. And I'm gonna draw my paintbrush. So here's the stick of my paintbrush or the wooden part, right? You see that? And then the bristles I'm gonna make nice and dark. And I'm gonna kind of make them curvy. Can you see my paintbrush now? So I could cut that out. That would be cute too. I did on this one. I made a nice big oversized paintbrush because it is a mural after all. We don't use tiny paintbrushes on a mural. All right, and I just drew this one on so that it's a little bit quicker for you and um, easier. But crayon works great because the watercolor won't stick to that. All right, so now I have my watercolors here and I have my water cup. Look, see, I've been using it. And before that, I need to make those curvy lines that it looks like I brushed on the paint. So I'm going to start here by my paintbrush and I'm just going to kind of, oh, you're wrecking it. No, I'm not. It's okay. So it looks like I'm drawing right through it and that's because I'm gonna be painting right through it. All right, so I just made these nice big curvy lines to show the before and the after. And that's really the idea of this, is that there's the, the wall or the world before we add our color and our beauty. And that's what artists are doing all the time, right? So. I'm not going to, this one I painted each thing perfectly, how it really would be, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, and pretty sky, but I'm not gonna do that this time. In the book, they did not do that either. They just painted any colors they wanted to. So before I do that, boys and girls, you can always do this to erase your guidelines. I have some in there still, and I'm pretty sure the paint won't cover that up all the way. So at least for the part that I'm gonna paint with you, I'm gonna erase these guidelines to make it look a little prettier and neater once um, the paint is on, okay? So you can decide how you want to paint yours and um, it can be more realistic like I did my first mural or you can do it a little more um, just colorful like this one's gonna be. Notice I'm using a clean, dry paintbrush to wipe off all my eraser marks. Okay, so I'm not gonna do the rest right now, but I do wanna kinda show you how it looks if you start painting it before we go. All right, so I'm just gonna use all of my greens. And I'm staying right inside the line that I made. And this is not the best paper. I'm just using whatever I have at home. And boys and girls, you probably are doing the same. So don't worry if it's not you know, the most amazing paper, but I'm only gonna paint the cool colors this time up here. And I'm gonna kind of just mix. Notice I clean my brush every time, but if you have your own paints at home and your brother or sister isn't sharing with you, you can mix if you want to, 
The problem is then, next time you're painting, um, your colors might not look so great. So it's up to you. I'm washing between colors just to keep my paints pretty. Okay, so there we have it. It's kind of fun. You never know what we'll do next. Actually, tomorrow we're doing this painting of a shaking dog. You know when they're wet and they like that and the water goes everywhere, especially when they're getting a bath or maybe they just got out of um, a pool or yeah, some kind of tub or maybe the sprinkler. Allie likes the sprinkler. Um, that's what we're gonna be painting today or tomorrow. The artist's name is Iris Scott. And she is known for these super fun paintings. So I'm, I have lots of fun stuff for you guys today and this week. I hope you enjoy. All right. So I'm just kind of giving color to my world here, to my mural. And I picked all the cool colors, but you can pick warm. You can pick cool. You can mix them up. You could paint it more realistically. It's your decision. I like when the colors kind of um, bleed into each other. So I'm trying to do it quickly. That works better if you have very wet paints. All right. I'm making a little bit of a mess, but that's okay because artists make lots of messes, right? And we have a lot, a lot of fun doing that. All right. What color did I? Maybe this one. Ooh, that's pretty, right? So I can't wait to see what you come up with, boys and girls. Make it beautiful. Make your world beautiful. Watch the reading of this book. Um, maybe something beautiful. I think it will inspire you to make a beautiful little mini mural today and a mini me. See you soon. I'll finish mine and I'll post it up for you later. All right. Bye-bye, friends.